All right, what's up everyone? If you thought about making your own DIY battery, uh, LiPo 4 battery, you've been watching Will Prowse on uh, building your own battery. I And uh, I just want you to have your expectations correct, okay? It's, <laughs> if you want to have a battery um, that you can use real quick and uh, you can get your your system up and going right away, then I would not want to build your own battery. Um, if you want to save a lot of money, I would also not build your own battery. Um, the reason is when you build your own battery, you're going to have to buy tools. Um, if you don't have any, you're going to have to buy a torque wrench. You're going to have to buy um, the battery terminals, uh, Grub screws, those are those are minor. Um, you're gonna have to buy um, the B, the uh, I always want to say BVM because I work in medical, but the uh, BMS, um, which costs more than the battery, right? This is a 280 amp hour battery, and it's if you want to learn a lot, then do your DIY battery. Okay, because you're gonna learn a lot about it because you're gonna have to put all the little components together, um, which is fun. Um, it is dangerous, so you need to be aware of the dangers. Even when I had, I've had issues from the beginning. <laughs> Everyone does. You're gonna have to problem solve like constantly. And this project is gonna take you a while. Uh, don't expect to like get it up and go on. If it's your first try, first run at it. Um, but the BMS originally, um, it looked like everything was charging good. I got the terminal, um, screws from Home Depot, just regular terminal, uh, screw, the M6 screw, you know, the flat end, it's not like a screw that's going to drill into it, but, um, and everything was going good until the BMS just, um, started fluctuating. It, it, it showed... My battery was charging nice and slow. And then it rapidly, it looked like on the BMS, at least on the app, it showed that it was rapidly charging and that it uh, it was completely charged, like all of a sudden. And then it showed all the batteries with different levels. It showed like one with like 5.6 volts and the other one with like one volt and the other one's at 3.2. So the BMS leads got off somehow, somewhere in the in the circuit. And so these are all the things you have to do and problem solve. Um, thankfully, the forum is super good. But what Will doesn't specify, and he's an awesome, I like binge watch his video like crazy. He's a surfer. What's up, Will? Um, is all the problems that can go wrong. There's a ton of challenging things you have to learn in the process. Maybe since he's done it so long, and um, he's so experienced, he doesn't encounter those anymore but there's so many little things like one of the big ones that everyone is having issues is well the bms right right away like getting everything to connect right making sure you crimp your wires perfectly uh, making sure you have the right crimping tools and everything um, it's more detailed than you think you think you do it right and then you, you put everything together and then boom something's not not working right so then you have to problem solve the forum's great because there's tons of people that are helpful and will help you with that. But if you want to build a battery and you expect it to be cheaper, a lot cheaper, especially your first time, um, it's not going to be. And it's going to take way longer than you think because you need to take your time on this. This could be dangerous. Um, I got my BMS from Overkill Solar. They're really good customer service. They have great, they have the best manual, I would say. I'll, I'll upload it in the video. Um, on the DIY build. Um, but even with them, they said, you know, when they put together some of these systems in their lab, they exploded. So <laughs> you need to realize that these, these are real uh, risk um, when you build your own battery. So uh, if you don't want any of those risks, if you want to get it up and going, if you want to save money from the get-go, just buy one of the uh, affordable batteries that Will talks about in the video. And I'm talking about DIY Will Prowse. Uh, 
So yeah, DIY Will Prowse, um, his YouTube's awesome. That's how I got inspired for this. But um, you might wanna rethink it and just do a simpler route if you're just starting out. And I'm a nurse, I don't come from an electrical background. So I'm being careful, doing my research, being as careful as I can. And the terminal stripped, right? Uh, being careful with crimping, but I'm new. So I'm gonna make mistakes and obviously Maybe some of my crimps were off. Um, but I used to think, I saw people that like ruined their battery, you know, you see it on YouTube and you're like, oh, they stripped their terminal, they're dumb, you know? I'm like, no, they actually <laughs> were probably being careful as well. But these things are fragile. It's not as simple and like, it's not just like putting things together, click, 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 and you're good to go. Uh, not at all. It's totally different. But the learning process is cool. I'm enjoying that part of it. So. There you go. There's my feedback and my advice for you. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions. And I'm gonna keep working on this and I'm gonna work on uh, fixing this situation because it's kind of like a puzzle, you know? Some people sit around doing a puzzle, um, putting together a picture, and this is kind of like my puzzle. And that's why DIY projects are kind of fun. And also why I got into computer programming too because you're constantly problem solving. Uh, but these are cool. I like this more than puzzles because you're actually like doing something you can use or build or create or make money from. So that's it for now. Uh, good luck out there. Take care.